Hi, everybody. Laura here. Today, I'm joining Simon Says Stamp for the Falling For You blog hop. It's their latest release. She's a doozy. Let me tell you, my car today features the baby party animals, and I'm literally falling off my chair because I can't handle the cuteness. Now, I'm starting with the card. Got a panel here of Nina Solar White. I'm cutting, uh, die cutting the tri square die because what's a good, what good is a baby party animal if it doesn't have a window to pop its head out of? You know what I mean? That's my opinion on the matter. But now here's the coordinating dies for the baby party animals. I just went ahead, die cut the whole shebang because I'm just going with it. I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I'm stamping all the little die cuts with my Memento Tuxedo Black because I do know that I'm going to have to do some Copic coloring. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, stamping a bunch, trying to decide what I want to work with here. And did I mention that I cannot handle the cuteness of these baby party animals. Of course, you know the kitten. I love a kitten, and I'm always going to color a kitten like our little kitty, Bella. I mean, it's just, it's not, you know, it's not an option. You got to color it like Bella. My, my family might disown me. But let me talk about the monkey. The monkey is the thing that stole my heart because I don't know if you know this. And I don't know if you even care, but I'm going to tell you anyway, <laughs> there's two things I always, always wanted when I was a child. Two things. I wanted a trampoline and I wanted a pet monkey and I never got either one of them, but I'm not bitter about it, but I'm just saying, I always want a pet monkey. Now my mom and dad, now this is a unique story because my mother and my father both had pet monkeys when they were growing up. Yeah, they both had them. And they tell me these horror stories. You know, my mom says her pet monkey, they had to put a diaper on it and it would get into the sugar and get into the kitchen cupboards and it would bite. And then my dad, his was really one of the really, really miniature monkeys, like really small one, kind of you can like dress up, put a hat on. I don't know. You know what? I'm not even sure if they're telling me the truth, but I do know they had monkeys. And I wanted one and I never got one. And my grandma used to live just down the block from a pet store. And I used to go, every time I would go to my grandma's house, I walked down to the pet store and in the basement, I don't know if many people knew this, but they had monkeys down there. And I would go down there and I swear the monkeys knew me and we had a connection and we just look at each other straight in the eye. We had a staring contest <laughs> and I wanted a monkey so bad. Anyway, moving on. I love the monkey. You know how much I love monkeys. Well, now you know how much. Now you know more than you ever knew you needed to know, right? <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing now is I put some of that fun foam on the back. I'm trying when I have big areas, like a big panel that I'm going to pop up. I like to use that fun foam. You know, I learned that from Jennifer McGuire. And it does seem to hold up better when you're mailing things. But if you're just doing little small things like these little critters, now for that, I'll use the foam tape. But when I'm doing like a big panel... It seems to hold up a little bit better, not get too smashed when I try to cover that entire back with fun foam. But I am trying to figure out the best way to adhere the fun foam. It's a little tricky. So on this one, I use that Tombow Mono Glue. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, I'm still working out the kinks on that one. But so now I'm just hearing all these little critters. These I shouldn't say critters. They're baby party animals. And uh, each one of them has a little something to hold in its hand. The little piggy, this little piggy went to the market and he got a prezi for his friend. And then the kitty cat's holding the happy, happy birthday flag. And the monkey's got the banner. And you know what? I got to name this monkey. I'm just going to name him right now in front of all of you. I'm going to name him George. You know, Curious George's show. Love that show. Love the music. Anyway, this card is finished. Thank you so much for joining me. I know you're going to love the rest of this hop. The designers work their magic. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.